Well, it was definitely a very different situation for me. I wasn't even familiar with Muskoka Algonquin Healthcare, let alone the whole area of Muskoka. Most of our vacationing or our um, other trips outside of Toronto were actually to Collingwood. So to me, it was a real adventure. And I really do need to thank my family and my husband for their support. They allowed me to move to someplace new and I was separate from them. And, uh, and I started my position uh, basically by myself during the week. And of course the family got together with me on the weekend. So it was a new uh, community to uh, get familiar with. And then on top of that, uh, it was a brand new job and, and new staff to get uh, to know. And, and of course all the politics and everything else. So it was, it was exciting, but it was scary as well. So throughout this career, 10 years, uh, pretty awesome. There must be some real highlights. I, I imagine there's many of them for you in this career, but we, we couldn't encompass that all in this, in this uh, interview, I don't think. So if you can tell me, Natalie, what, I mean, some of the top tier moments of, of this 10-year career are for you. Well, I think there's there's a number of them, and I, I can't say that they've all been my doing. It's all been around the team Mac and what we've been able to accomplish together. I think some of the clinical things that we've been able to do, so for instance, introducing some new clinical services that weren't here before, like gynecology, like our recent announcement around orthopedics, I think those are really important moments and, and, and uh, periods of pride for all of us here at Mac. Um, I think as well, I mean, the accreditation that we got with exemplary status was just really fantastic. It's something to really celebrate. And again, I think a reflection, not just on the hospital and the staff and credential staff, but on our community as well, who've contributed through uh, generous donations to provide the equipment and the tools for our staff to do their job. And as a result, it translated in quality, safe health care, which was recognized by Accreditation Canada. And I think maybe the really um, two other really important points is we are now finally in fantastic financial health here at the hospital. So it took a while to work diligently with the ministry and with the Lynn when the Lynn's were in place and then with Ontario Health. And we are now on fantastic financial footing, um, which is another reason for now being you know, at the right time for me to, to step down. And then I would say as well, really how we've mastered well, maybe mastered is not the right term, but really how well we've done through the pandemic. I mean, that was exceptionally scary, but Mac, uh, Team Mac again pulled together. We've gone through three waves. We're embarking on a fourth wave, and I have absolute confidence in our team to be able to continue to manage the pandemic and steer a course and keep our community and our, our staff and credential staff safe. So would you put that all together? Pride, the right timing. It's time for me to make this personal decision. So, you know, and I, one thing I do want to highlight quickly is, is at least the first pivotal steps that you've helped take in, in uh, solidifying our future of, of new hospital sites. That's a major uh, milestone as well, right? Even though I, you obviously won't be here for those next steps, there's still such, uh, you know, amazing point that you took to, to get us to that first step, right? Absolutely. I mean, it was a long haul. <laughs> We're eight years into it. So it's, it's taken a long time. And hopefully the, the, the rest of the steps that we have to go through for the capital planning process are going to be quicker than they have been up to now. But you're absolutely right. Uh, a lot of work went, went into that. A lot of collaboration and support from our community. You know, I, I would be uh, disingenuous if I said it was all fun. It wasn't. We went through some exceptionally uh, tough times. Uh, I had some, you know, personal downtimes during that period of time because it was it was not a good time all the time. Mm. But I, I think we've gotten to a point where uh, we're all in agreement, and that that plan has gone in. And I'm really hopeful that we're going to hear something pretty soon. So of course I have to. It's obligatory of me to ask you what comes next for you. Well. If it wasn't for the pandemic, I'd be telling you that we'd be out there traveling, uh, doing a lot of, of traveling. And in fact, recently had to cancel uh, a, a trip that we were planning to take based on the level of, of, um, of the, uh, uh, the pandemic and, and the Delta variant in that area. But yeah, my hopes are to actually have a little bit of a rest. Uh, to be frank, I haven't had a vacation in the, the full pandemic. Uh, so it's been a long time. Um, looking to rest, uh, get out there and ski, play golf when the weather comes back, try to travel um, and just spend some really quality time with my family. I would like to do other things as well. I don't know that I can actually, 
Um, I mean, I'm a busy lady. I've been working for the last 46 years as a nurse um, and or an administration. It's going to be hard to adjust. So my hopes are that I can maybe pick up some things to do on the side, and I'm going to continue to be a surveyor for Accreditation Canada and have some surveys already planned. So I'll, I'll do things here and there and uh, just enjoy life. It's my next chapter. Well, Natalie, I'm sure you've heard it already, but allow me to at least say on behalf of uh, this community and your TV, Muskoka, thank you for your service to this community. Ten years um, has definitely turned things around uh, for this organization. We appreciate that uh, it, it is a team effort, but we appreciate that you were the captain of the ship to uh, to bring us to shore. Um, and with that, any final words for the community? I know your retirement is still a, a few months away, but uh, you know, while we have you, any last words? I just want to say it's been a privilege. Everywhere that I've worked during my career, um, I've worked with incredible people. And it's always been about trying to provide the best quality, safe care to the communities that I'm in. And so it's been a privilege. And, and so thank you for your kind words, James. Um, it's been fun. 